Nicola, a voice recognition software and keyboard user on using the web. My name's Nicola, I don't use a mouse anymore and I use um, Dragon, naturally speaking, voice recognition software and also tend to use a keyboard and I in fact avoid using a mouse if I possibly can. What problems do you encounter when using the computer? The problems are usually to do with navigation, um, particularly if you're using voice recognition and you don't have a mouse, all your mouse um, work happens by using your voice when you get a grid up on the screen and you have to then uh, divide the screen up into ever smaller chunks to get to the portion of page that you're looking um, to click on and then you select a click thing which... Uh... What do you usually do on the internet? Mail, and I have done for probably the last 10 years because I've worked my way through different um, places of work, different computers, um, so to have one computer with a a mail account uh, and an ISP that's static doesn't work for me, so I very much rely on web mail. I've managed to navigate down to some kind of uh, some message anyway. Um, I think maybe the computer is a little bit slow. And it's now catching up. Hmm. Um, So one has to resort to a mouse quite often. My wrist gets really fatigued and um, I end up having to swap hands but then I just have a little bit of time on this hand as well and then that starts to really cause me pain. If you're using the keyboard, it's um, the, the impact is not so critical as when you use a mouse, that click, believe it or not, is very, uh, for me anyway, is, is, is very, uh, tri triggers the pain like unlike the keyboard which I have a bit more time with before it, it, it triggers any pain because uh, it's a bit more softer, there's not such a definite click. How could the web be improved? One of the problems that I had with Yahoo Mail, um, particularly using Dragon software, uh, is that for a long time I would be, I'd be dictating messages within Mail and it, everything would be fine and then all of a sudden it would disappear and I would just think inexplicably I'd lost everything um, but it was always when I said A so like I might have said okay would you like to come for a drink tonight and I'd said A and the thing would disappear and it took me months to work out what actually had happened is it thought I'd said save so it put the message in the draft folder and when I found the draft folder it was full of all these messages I thought I'd lost um, and because of its unreliability and me thinking that it was Yahoo um, I used to have to dictate into like the notepad version of Dragon and then copy and paste it into Yahoo which um, obviously is you know, time consuming and frustrating um, now although that's not entirely Yahoo's fault, the, the functionality that's built into Dragon um, is, is great but sometimes um, the, obviously the links that are in Yahoo save, I mean that's pretty common but didn't help me at all. One of my bugbears is flash interfaces where you have to click and hold on, onto a menu. So. Um, you need a bit of information where you've got to drill down to such and such a page that's buried somewhere, but the menu doesn't give you the option of just like navigate to this menu, okay, and then you get this menu to choose from so you can go there. I mean, I can get there eventually, whether I use the voice recognition or um, the keyboard. The click and hold menus, which I believe are created in Flash, are just totally incompatible with both of these types of input device that I use. and they're just like a total waste of time and it makes me think um, because I get frust so frustrated that the people who've built the website haven't tested it properly don't appreciate the different types of users that they're expecting um, to visit their site. Another thing that makes it really difficult is if there are lots of frames or filler images in sites where if you were to say to, to drag and click image which will then allow you to um, click onto 
a link that is an image, if you've got all these filler things, then you've got a hundred different things to choose from and it, it just makes everything much more time consuming. Fitting pages to the size of the screen would really help immensely because um, people that you can use a mouse can scroll quite easily, but for me, every click on that keyboard is, is, a, is a reduction in the time I've got to use the site. Um, I know that browsers can detect the resolution of your screen and adjust it accordingly, so why can't the content fit the screen? I mean, if there is a need for another page, then fine, let's have another page. With thanks to Nicola, this video was made by AbilityNet, copyright AbilityNet 2008.